Hello, and welcome to Power of Two. The books are great for everyone who benefits from repeated practice and explanation. Students will boost their math skills as well as gaining confidence and a sense of achievement. This video explains how the Power of Two books work. You'll also find a written explanation at the start of each book. All our books work in the same way. We suggest working through the book four to five times a week. Each session should last for about 10 to 15 minutes. The aim is to work through the whole book. You always start at the beginning of the book and don't skip any pages. Students need to get three consecutive ticks for a question to be fully completed. Sit next to the student, bearing in mind whether you're left or right-handed so your hand doesn't cover the question. Or of course, the student can mark the book if you feel that's okay. In this video, we'll just show the coach marking the book. Each page has a script which can be read by yourself or the student. This should be read out loud. Date each page when you start. And you can also put the date at the top of each column. You're now ready to start using the book. For each question, if they give a correct answer, mark it with a tick. If they give a wrong answer, mark it with a dot. Don't write in the actual answer. Try to accept the first answer that's given. This will encourage students to think before answering and to find a suitable method to use. Of course, you can use your discretion when wrong answers are self-corrected. You'll see space you can use to show working out, although it's good to encourage the student to carry out the calculations without using pen and paper. The aim is to work towards developing mental math skills. If a lot of coaching was given to reach the correct answer, mark it as a dot for that day. It's always good to keep asking, how did you work that out? When you've asked the last question on a page, move on to the next page. You should only complete one column on each page in a session. We recommend only doing one session each day, lasting about 10 to 15 minutes. The next time you use the book, start at the first question that hasn't got three consecutive ticks. Put the date at the top of the next column and again continue working through the pages until your time is up. As before, just doing one column per page. Repeat this each time you visit the book. When you've three consecutive ticks for a question, that question is now complete. There's no need to ask that question again. Some questions may have dots, so continue to return to these questions until they've also got three consecutive ticks. If you reach the end of the grid and there's still a question which hasn't got three consecutive ticks, write that question in the next recap grid. These can be found at regular intervals throughout the book. Continue to ask that question until there are three consecutive ticks. Write the finished date on the page when all the questions on it have three consecutive ticks, or you've transferred a question to a recap grid. An elastic band is great to hold the completed pages and works well in showing the progress that's been made. Continue working through the book until all the pages are finished.